Hey guys, in this video I will show you some of your lineups and setups which you can use when you are playing on Ascent. And then we will start right here when you are attacking on A side. So very simply, you can TP, just go simply into this corner and line it up on this lamp on the top of it. And just simply send your teleporter. And the teleporter will go all the way here in the back. As you can see, it will make its way around these boxes and end up in this corner and you can TP here. You can also fake it so and you can win some extra space or combine it with your flashes as well. Another TP that can be useful, you can be used here on shard by simply going all the way there. But you have to make your way all the way here in the back in the corner and then just simply aim in the middle of these doors. Just like that. Simply aim there, it's gonna go all the way here through middle and all the way to short as you can see and it will go all the way here behind the tree into this catwalk area and then you can either TP here or fake it so the enemies have to worry about this spot as well another spot is right here on short you will be aiming directly on this corner as you can see this one I will zoom on it, on it a bit right here so, and you just go into this corner and you aim there right here on this spot and then you just simply send your tp it's gonna go all the way here through mid all the way here in the back so you can tp there at a time and you can surprise enemies from this spot you can fake it you can combine it with your flashes with your ult anything there's plenty of ways how you can use this if you are defending there is this great tp that you can use just simply go here in this corner and aim on this little lamp that is sticking out and you just simply place there your crosshair and send your TP all the way. It's gonna go all the way this hallway right here all the way in the back and you can once again combine it with your flashes TP or fake TP it and you once again can gain a little bit of space or just make your enemies paranoid. Also you can do very similar thing right here on mid however this time you can send your TP here all the way in the back just at the beginning of the round just aim there and simply send it it's gonna get there and you can tp there or you can just fake tp so if you know that the enemies can be close you can fake tp that so they will turn around and be looking for you in the back now let's focus on fake outs your clones one of my favorite things to do is by simply place your clone anywhere in this area and when you think that the enemies might think that you have that you do are leaving that they are a bit silent you can just very simply do this and you can hide in the other corner to simply spawn your fake out. It's gonna go all the way here to the shard. The enemies right here will hear the clone go there. And they will think that you have rotated. And you can just very simply wait here in the corner. They might push you. And they might be looking for the clone to kill him in the back. So you can be also holding angles like these. And try to surprise the enemies. Very simple to do. And it got me a lot of kills this way. Another thing that you can do is by simply placing your clone right here at the generator or right here at these dices and then you just simply stand behind the other one so when the enemies are coming to the side you just simply spawn the fake out either here or here and when they will sh be shooting at him they will get flashed and you can pink peek from the other side very simple to do and it's very effective you can do a very similar thing right here on chart by simply placing your fake out for example in this area and then hide it in this corner just simply go there, activate your clone, he will go right here on short, or you might want him to go right here. And then be just holding this corner again, you might be unchecked and get a free or one or two kills. You can do a very similar thing right here on mid, just simply place your clone anywhere in the middle and send him through the gate. Just like that. Uh, and then you can be trying to be peeking with him. And trying to hold the enemies who might be shooting and so simply Here. you can focus on mid link or be focusing on Here. top mid depends on what you want to be looking at and lastly here on b side when you are defending you can very simply place your clone clone right here and go into this corner and then just simply you spawn the fake out it's gonna be faking out that you are leaving from this spot so the enemies might think that you went into the side or they can kill you in the back or you can place the clone right here and send it to the spawn, depends on you. And then just simply stand in this corner and be waiting for enemies to come. You can do this from many angles, but this one is probably the best one since this corner is usually unchecked. 
if you are attacking you can do your fake out very simply all the way here from the hallway or you can simply send your fake out like this it's gonna go pick this corner from here so that way you can check that and then you can simply follow it if it gets shot you can simply trade it or it at least gonna uh, put the pressure on them so that they have to be looking at it if that's not you very simple once again combine it with the flashes so it looks more realistic and reliable simply you can do the same thing right here on short by simply doing this the clone will go hug the walls and simply go through shard so you can follow it or you can just simply trade it when it gets shot here on middle it works great as well you can do it pretty much anywhere any anyhow you like just simply send it follow it the people in the market might be thinking that you are coming very simple and it will go all the way here to respawn if you bounce it off of this wall and lastly here in Bitanos simply send your clone once again it's gonna lead, go and lead the way like this and end up here yeah. this one doesn't look very realistic but if you do it a bit closer for example like this it might look a bit better yeah. it might catch the enemies of guard and lastly let's do flashes you can yeah. very simply use this supportive flash like yeah. that over the wall it's gonna bounce off of this yeah. blue wall of this blue building and blow up of course you can do it very simply just like this it works great as well or just simply send it like this and peek to the right so anyone who'd be in the left will be get will get flashed and you won't be spotted of course you can do this the other way around as well just simply bounce it off of the spec wall or if you are here just simply aim like this and it's gonna bounce off and blow up here all the way here up there so the enemies will get flushed and you can use this to support your teammates if they want to peek from this corner and you are for example right here if you are taking there's plenty of ways how you can re how you can go in just simply bounce it off of the wall or if you want to flush under heaven you can bounce it off of this box as well just like that very simple it's gonna blow up right here and usually enemies might be trying to hold angles like these on short my favorite flush is simply like this it blows up here all the way in the middle and blo and it blinds everyone. If you are pushing you can do flashes like this as well. And just simply follow them and be clear in these corners. And you can use this when you are rushing. Of course on middle there's plenty of ways that you can bounce it off. For example like these of these falls. Very simple and very effective. And lastly if you are going to the B side you can use these windows to throw your flash throughs. Through them just simply like that. And you can use this even like this very simple pop flash and it works the other way around as well very simple and very effective and we'll start when you are attacking firstly right here on a so very simply you want to stand on this second line right here at the beginning of the stairs just right here and then you simply place your crosshair right on this uh, yeah. on this corner where the gray meets the white right here and you simply send there your tp and this tp will go all the way here to spawn two screens a bit slower around this corner but then it will go straight and pretty fast and then you can simply tp here and you can surprise enemies combine it with your co combine it with your clones or your flashes another another TP that can be useful you just want to simply stand in the middle of this wall on the right side of this door frame and simply place your crosshair in the middle of here. these two planks here. just simple right here in the middle of them and let your TP go the TP will end up in the back right here as you can see it goes there pretty fast and you can use this when you're attacking in this pretty safe spot use TP here behind your enemies once again the best way how to use this one is some, by simply combine it with flashes or your Yoru clones another way how you can use your TP is by simply at the beginning of the ramp you want to stand next to this dustbin and place your crosshair right on this corner where this metal meets the wall like that since send there your teleporter and it will go all the way here in the back you can use this to fake TP or to surprise enemies from the flank and you will get here pretty fast since this tp is once again will get here super fast 
One of my favorite clones to use right here on A when you are defending is this one. Simply place your fake out here at this corner anywhere and you want to try to sneak your way all the way here. And if you hear enemies that, that they are coming, for example, in here in A main, you just simply activate this fake out and this fake out will go and fake that you are leaving this ramp. So they might try to be pushing you so they, that since they will be thinking that they can shoot you in the back and that you are not paying attention. And you will be right here in this corner and simply get one or two kills. Very simple to do and it's very effective. You can do this similar thing right here as well. Just simply place your Yaru clone for example in this area. And then you can hide here. So when the enemies are approaching, you just activate this fake out. The fake out will go all the way here in the back. So enemies might be thinking that you are going there as well. And you just might be simply waiting for them to push you. Very simple to do and once again very effective. If you are attacking right here on A, simply doing your clone like this will work just fine since it will cut clear this corner and then it will go on and keep going and it might clear these corners. If it gets shot, it will flash anyone who shot it and you can once again try to trade it if it gets shot. Very simple to do and it can get you a lot of info, but don't overuse it. You can do a very similar thing right here in the middle. Just send your Yuru like this, the clone. It will go through middle, it might get shot from here, from the vent, or when it passes by by this middle middle link, it can get shot as well, and it will go all the way here in the vent where it can get shot as well, once again. And you can do this thing from both sides. For this one, you can send it in this doors, like this. Just simply, and it can get shot from vents, or from this link as well. Very simple to do, and it can get you a lot of info. On B, the best clone that you can use is very simply this one. Just send it uh, against the wall and it will go all the way here, clear the abilities that the enemies might be using and go all the way here. You can combine it with TP in the back or fake in your TP and of course try to combine it with flashes as well. Very simple and it can get you a lot of info. And see where faking out on A, you can do the similar thing on B. Just by simply placing your clone right here and then camping on this corner. And then when the enemies are coming, just simply spawn the fake out that will be leaving. And that's all you need to do. The enemies might be thinking that the enemy that the enemy you is there. You are there and they will be looking that way and not really check you here. Or you can do it a bit further here in the back. Just simply send your clone right here. And you can hide behind this box when the enemies are coming. Simply spawn the fake out and the enemies might be thinking that you are backside. Very simple and very effective as well. Lastly, let's do flashes and start right here on A. Very simple, you can do flashes like these. So that way you flash anyone who might be holding the ramp. Or very simply, bounce it off of this wall or all the way here in the back to flash anyone who might be on the side. Very simple, but I recommend you doing it to bounce it off of this corner. And it blows perfectly right here in the middle and it will cover anyone who might be looking at the flash from these spots. If you are defending you can do your flash and bounce it off very simply of this top of this grass. Simply aim there, throw it there, it will bounce off and land perfectly right here. And you can have your teammate pushing all the way from here as well. Simply combine it together and do some teamwork and you can get free kills this way since this is a great pop flash. On the middle you can, there's plenty of ways how you can do your flashes, for example this way. It will bounce off and you can peek with it. And this of course works on the other side as well. And lastly in B, very simply, if you want to be playing aggressive, you can do your flashes like this at the beginning of the round. It will bounce off and land perfectly right here and flash anyone who will be holding you. But careful since enemies can be holding behind this corner and waiting, be waiting for you. And if the enemies are coming out of the me main or you are coming out of the B main, just simply do your flashes and bounce it off of this wall. And you can also bounce it off the backside or very simply off this backside as well. Depends what you want to flash. If you are flashing this, you will blind anyone in heaven. And if you bounce it off of this back wall, anyone, anyone behind the side will be will be blinded. It's like that. Very simple and once again super useful and we'll start right here on a side when you're attacking so very simply when you are going into this a main 
all you need to do is just simply send your clone in so that way it checks the corner if there's no one holding it and it will just continue its way all the way here another useful thing that you can do is very, very simply send in your tp all the way here in the back just like that the tp will go there and then when you are entering you can either fake tp or combine it with your flashes and then you can tp or to fake that your position the enemies can't pay attention to do it a bit so they might be, get distracted and you can get the entry if you're coming from the dish you can do once again the very same thing as you did before you can either try to fake either of these sides very simply and then be holding him since the enemies will usually peek him or try or but be careful they can pick you from the other side so always be careful and try to hold the other angle that you are exposed to and then when you get closer just don't forget to use your flashes to clear the closer angles however yoru your clone will get all the way here so it might get shot and when you are all the way here you can use this tp once again for fake you can send it to the right if you want and then fake tp there or just very simply try to send it to the side just like that it will climb up the stairs and in that corner you can try to fake it once again it will distract the enemies and you can get a free entry right here when you are pushing b you can do your tp once again by simply standing at this wall and aiming right here at this corner the tp will go like this all the way in the back however you want to fake tp anywhere in this area usually these two spots would be would be smoked so if you tp here it's quite a safe spot since you are not exposed to either of those but you have to time it pretty well and you can even tp and try to get it open from this unexpected spot if you want to go into tower and tp there just simply stand here you can ping into the back of it and then you just send the rtp but don't over peak so that they were not exposed just send your tp like this it will climb up the stairs and the other stairs as well as you can see and end up right here in tower you can fake tp here or tp here as well if this is if this is smoked you are in a quite safe spot if you are defending it's very easy for you to go for flanks with your for example you can stand in this corner and place your crosser right in the middle of this wall between those two things send there your tp and the tp will go all the way to spawn but be careful enemies can see the teleporter if it goes around them but you can always fake tp and try to renew some time as you can see it will go all the way here and the very same thing works for the other side there is going to be barrier at the beginning of the round and you just simply send your tp at this line right here just simply aim anywhere wherever you want and send there your tp and it's going to go all the way here in the back then you can tp and try to flank but once again be careful the enemies can see the teleporter and of course you can do this on this side as well just simply aim right here into this middle panel more to the left of this part just like that send there your tp and the tp will once again go all the way to spawn it will bounce off the walls as you can see and land all the way in the back just like that and once again you can tp and go for the flank now let's move on to clones when you are defending one of my favorite thing to do with clones is to fake my position maybe to fake out that i'm rotating just simply place your fake out anywhere in this area and then you can simply hide for example in this corner or anywhere on site for on top of it and when the enemies are coming closer and it's later in the round you can fake your position by simply spawning your fake out and letting it go to spawn so that the enemies might think that you have rotated and they have a free site so be so you can get a free kills this way you might be left unchecked if you are in this corner since they would be paying attention to the clone running all the way here and of course you can do a very similar thing right here on B side as well, just simply place your fake out for example here or anywhere in this area as well but make sure it is it can be heard for example here and then you can be in tower or anywhere and just simply spawn the fake outs the fake outs will lead the way and the enemies might be thinking that you are once again leaving of course you can do this on plenty of spots you can do this for example for tower as well just simply put your fake out right like this and when the enemies might be coming to simply spot it and let it run the enemies might be thinking that you're in tower since you and you will be hiding right in this corner very simple to do 
right here at arcade you can do this just simply place your clone right here and then you just simply spawn it when you hear anyone coming just like that the enemies might be shooting at him and you pick the other side since this will flash them and they will be paying attention to him and you can do a very similar thing right here on this just simply go here hide let your clone be here and if you hear anyone close or you can just try to fake it just simply activate your clone and then when the clone is activated it might get shot and you pick the left side very simple and easy to do and lastly with your clone you can do also this just simply place him right here and when the enemies are coming when you hear them coming just simply activate it he will go through the gate pay its attention to him and you can simply shoot them very simple to do once again the enemies will get flashed and distracted when you are attacking just very simply use your fake outs like this let them lead the way for example at this area usually killjoy or cypher will have will have their abilities in this area so it will activate them and you can run through after him and you can do a very similar thing on the other side right here just like this very simple to gain the info or to activate the traps that might be there and of course you can do this on the on the a side as well just by simply placing your your like this and try to go to this corner very simple or let her go to the to, to the ropes just like that very simple the enemies might get confused and it's easy to do and of course you want your usually pick this corner so just throw it behind the corner it will lead the way however if you don't use that one just simply use this one so this will go straight up to the side very simple now let's move on to flash that might be so for example when you are trying to pick this card you can bounce off your flash of this wall just like that it will bounce off and blind anyone who would be holding either here or all the way in the back so you can win some space and when you're entering you can bounce off your flash like this it's gonna pop right here and flash anyone who is in this area very useful flash it doesn't just it only doesn't blind anyone under the side it's the only disadvantage but anyone who is elsewhere is gonna get flashed the same thing works for this area just simply bounce it off like this or very simply like this depends what you want to flash if you want to flash more of the side just simply bounce it off of this it's gonna blind anyone here and here pretty much bouncing off of this wall is probably the best one so this blows up right here when you are pushing B, just simply use your flash and bounce it off of this tower with the back side, just like that. You want to throw it a bit higher so it doesn't pop lo low and the enemies are and everyone is blinded. So just m make sure you aim a bit higher. It's gonna bounce off and flash anyone in this area. And if you are pushing from this side, just very simply you can bounce your first flash of this. It's gonna flash anyone in the tower. And then when you are entering, you can bounce off of this or this. Yeah. But be careful, you can flash yourself easily of these falls. And we'll start right here on A side with teleporters when you are attacking. So very simply, what I like to do, my first teleporter, you just want to stand on this line, on this little cross section. You are hidden from these doors when you are standing right here, so you're not seen. And then you just very simply place your cursor right here on this spot. Yeah. Just like that, and send there your TP. The TP will bounce off of this default, go to the right side of it, and go all the way to spawn. And you can s and you can sneak your way out all the way here and the TP. Or you can just simply fake TP, so that way you will distract your enemies and they have to worry about anyone being there. Very simple. Another simple trick you can do is this teleporter. There are these dots, and you just want to simply place yeah. your crosshair between those two. Yeah. These two dots right in the middle of them and then you simply send out your tp the tp will go all the way here behind the default just like that and you can once again very simple tp under the heaven so that you are not visible or you can just simply fake it so that the enemies once again have to worry about another spot right here on b side when you are attacking there's not many ways that you can do it but one of them is just by simply standing in this corner and placing your crosshair right in the middle of this most left lamp or this ceiling or the roof and just simply send your TP and the TP will go all the way through long bounce of these tubes and end up all the way here back on spawn very simple to do and 
you can TP here or once again just fake TP so the enemies get confused, distracted by our TP. When defending, what I like to do, I just like to simply send out my teleporter to the other side where I'm not playing so that I have a faster rotate, for example like this. I do this at the beginning of the round and then I can be anywhere on short and when I need to, when I know that the enemies are on B, I just simply TP all the way here to elbow and I'm ready to help my teammates. And you can do this on the other side as well. So by simply doing this, the TP once again will go bounce off of this and end up here. anywhere here on spawn. Very simple to do. And this TP will go even all the way to heaven. Here. As you can see in the tower. Just like that. And then you can very simply, yeah. once again, he will TP from B side all the way here to heaven. And you are ready to help your teammates. Simple to do. When you are attacking, it's very simple to use your fake outs like these. You don't have to think much of it, it will usually break the ciphers or kill J's utility, so make sure you break them either like this or just by simply sending it to the backside, just like that. Very simple and effective, it can get enemies blinded and confuse them. Of course, the same, the very same thing works on B side as well, just like this. However, this time you cannot place your Ryo right here since he won't jump over it and he will get stuck. So make sure you place him at least. You want to jump and place him just like that. If there's a smoke, if there's not, I recommend you doing it from long, just like this. For example, you will go against the wall, cover the corners, and it can break the utility once again. When defending, there's a few things that I like to do. I like to create a habit with my clones where I place them every time at the beginning of the round right here and I spawn the fake out and it goes through every time. So that way the enemies will either shoot it when they are here or I can TP with... If I do it every round, then I will TP sometimes and try to surprise them since they will think it's my fake out as I did it every round. So they will be used to it and they will not shoot it or you can have your teammate peek from the other side when the clone is coming through if the clone is gonna get destroyed the teammate won't get flash however the enemies will be flashed so it's very easy to do i would recommend you doing that especially at this teleporter it is very useful and can get you gain info as well as can get guaranteed to a kill another thing that i like to do is by simply placing my clone anywhere in this area just like that and then I can be playing some close angles for example this one and when I hear enemies coming I just simply spawn the fake out the enemies will hear the steps and they will think that I'm leaving the site so they will most likely won't even check me since they will think that the site is clear or there's only one left and they won't really expect this corner to to be this close so that I hide in here so you can just simply get three kills by simply faking out your position like that or you can do a very similar thing for example here just place your fake out in this area and you can be hiding anywhere in this spot if you spawn it it will create the steps the enemies will think that you are in you hole and they will go after you and not worry about these close corners and of course the same thing works right here on B for example this spot is probably the best one on the whole map you just place your fake out here and you wanna try to get yourself as fast as you can in this corner and when the enemies are coming you simply spawn it the enemies will be trying to kill your clone since they will be thinking that you are leaving the long area however your clone will be in a pretty safe spot so it's not that obvious that it's not you and you can get a free kill very simply this way and once again you can do this uh, plenty of ways you can just simply do your clone anywhere in this area just simply spawn it and when, the and when you are when the enemies are in hookah you can do this clone just simply spawn it you it will get, get you the info if there's anyone long and if there's not the enemies will usually jump out of the window and try to get a kill very simple since they will think that you are the only player there lastly flashes it's very simple to do them especially on this map you can do it behind the lamps right here so it won't flash you however it blows right here in the air and it flashes anyone who can be looking at it so all these spots will be flashed it's pretty useful and it never blinds your teammates unlike this flash which usually will end up blinding you so very simple just do it like that and we'll serve off of this corner just like that it works great as well if you're coming out of flames you can very simply 
do this sneaky pop flash. And you can peek with it since it blows up all the way here. It will flash anyone in heaven and it will never blind you. Just like that. Very simple flash and it's super useful. Right here on B there's plenty of ways so you can flash. For example, you can bounce off of these falls. Or you can simply bounce off of this without you peeking. Just throw it like this and it will bounce in the air blow up right here and anyone who'd be in these spots is gonna get blinded very simple however if you're coming out the flank you can just simply very simply throw it like this it's gonna blow up right here anyone in close cons right here is gonna get blinded as well as anyone who is hold might be holding you from the back side and then you can very simply follow it with flashes like these but be careful, you can always blind yourself. And we'll start right here on A side with your TPs. So on A side, there is a very simple TP you can do. You just want the TP sent yeah. to hit the left side of the pyramid, just like this. It's gonna go around the pyramid, as you can see. Just like that, and go all the way in the back. Just like this. It's gonna go even behind this box, and it will end up right here in this corner where it gets stuck. So this is the only TP that can be useful. Yeah. Right here in the middle, you can do a very similar TP, just want to make sure there's a this little gap in the door and just send your TP in the middle. It doesn't matter how far you stand, you just want to make sure that there's a gap between the door and the and the box, just like that. And you send the TP there, very simply. It's gonna go Lich on A side and it's gonna end up right here in the back. Yeah. Once again, you can TP here or just simply fake TP. Yeah. And lastly, if you want to be attacking on B side and you want to try to go for a flank or the fake TP, just simply stand in the middle of yeah. this brick, right here, and then aim in the middle of this hinge, right here in the box, right yeah. here in the middle. Very simple, Cutting just send your TP, it doesn't have to be pixel perfect, it will find its way through, and it will go behind this, just like that, and it's gonna go all the way to spawn. But if you want to make sure that it will land right here, just aim a little bit more to the left yeah. and you will get stuck in this corner. And lastly, another trick that you can do is at the beginning of the round, if you're attacking A side, you can yeah. place your TP right here in the hall, yeah. or you can send it all yeah. the way in the back. But I recommend you send your TP right here so it stays here. And if you plant it, you can go for a flank, you plant it, you get the side, you TP here into this spot and then you can try to kill someone who will be in this area you don't have to run all the way through the cave all the way here and you've, it's a great spot and it will really benefit your team if you are on a side and you are defending i recommend you place your clones right here for example in these two spots so if the enemies are coming you can fake these steps and the enemies will be thinking that you are in these spots however you will be just very simply camping and you might be left unchecked since the enemies might not even expect anyone to be here very similar thing works right here on B side, even though here it works a bit better. You can place your clone either here and play in this close corner in this area. Just simply spawn your fake out. The enemies might think that's you and that you're rotating, or you can do it on the other side, for example in this area and be holding this corner. It's very simple and it works fantastic. I've tried it many times. The enemies it usually catches the enemies of guard that you are kept in here. And they won't really expect you to be in this position so definitely try it out it's very helpful every time you're entering site i recommend you do a simple clone like this that way it it can confuse the enemies they might shoot it and get blinded and if it doesn't they will still look at it and think for a second if that's you and you get the chance to surprise them and try to trade the clone or kill them in the meantime the similar thing i think even better works right here just simply do your clone like this and let it go since this hallway is pretty narrow if the enemies which want to shoot at you there is a good chance that they might hit the they might hit the clone and kill it so definitely try it out and let it go through first if you're going hallway and of course very similar thing works right here on b side just simply a clone like this it doesn't really matter it's gonna make its fail like this it might suppress anyone who'd be backside you can peek with the clone on the other side as well and it's gonna go all the way in back and it can catch enemies of guard or when when you some advantage at least this is a very simple flash right here on a side when you are entering definitely try it out you just want to aim high like this bounce off your flash 
and then you can peek to the right and it won't blind you just like that very simple and it blows and pops all the way up here and it blinds pretty much everyone on site who might be looking into the into the hallway into these doors of course when you're going mid you can try doing your code like this and combine it with your flash so it looks more more real and then manage my think it's you just very simply try to combine your utility and it will work fantastic especially on this map since there's a lot of space where you can use it with your so yeah that was one short video for your on breeze hopefully this video is helpful and see you guys soon bye and we'll start with your tps when you're attacking so simply here on a side there are two main tps that you want to use very simply first one you just want to send to the left side of this mid box not mid box but this box yeah. it'll go all the way to the left and end yeah. up in this corner you can end tp here to get behind the enemies you can very simply fake tp here to gain some advantage so that the enemies are looking that way or you can do the other tp very simply to the right side just like that you can either use it to tp behind some smokes or just once again to, to fake it there's not many other teleports that are very useful right here on a side except you might want to use your tps for example like this just t leave it here and you can go try to kill someone and in a post plant you just want to tp there into this position which is really good to hold on on the middle i think this is the most useful the most useful tp that you can do you just want to simply want to stand in next to this box and then you just simply aim right here on the yeah. box in front of you on the top left corner just right here yeah. and you send your tp there Time to jump. and the tp will go all the way in the back just like that it goes still we'll go behind the side you can tp here if you want to to time it well or you can just very simply tp all the way here in this at the snowman and you can try to go for a flank or try to kill anyone to kill anyone right here on site since the, you are tping very far in the back it would be hard for them to hear you hard for them to hear the tp so yeah definitely Port try it out closed. when you are pushing b there is probably only one tp that can be useful or the, anything that line up you just want to simply yeah. sell their tp here and when it's under that you just simply t tp there and you can try to peek with your team from an other position so that it's unexpected unlike the enemies would usually <laughs> Try to hold this corner or this far corner. So yeah, and you can surprise them just very simply by peeking behind this box. Or just by simply going this way. If you are defending, there's not many TPs. What I like to do is just very simply send my TP from B side all the way here to A. Just like that. So that way I have a faster rotate since rotate to rotate on this map it's a uh, real pain in the ass and as you can see the tp will go all the way here and i can tp here anytime i want but it's the first one or you can just simply try doing this yeah. simple aim on the right side of these boxes just like that it's gonna go all the way here through the middle hug the right side yeah. of these boxes and end up right here on their spawn if you if you do it pretty well so you can try to go for a flank and once again, it would be hard for enemies to hear you. You TP here, and they usually would not be looking at you since there's not many people going middle and tr or holding it. So definitely try it out. It can work. Now let's move to clones. Very simply, you just want to do your clones like this. First, like this, so that way it goes all the way in the back to the side, just like that, and it can clear them. The enemies might shoot it. Or you can just very simply do it on the other side, just like that. Works the same way. And you can go with them, wait for them to break it. Very simple. Just definitely try to use them when you are entering. The same thing works right here in the middle, just very simply. Send their TP here, or if you are going cube, I think it's the best clone to use here. Just simply let him go first. This one looks the most realistic. And if it gets shot, you can just simply trade it. Or if it doesn't, you can once again, you are taken a second from the enemy's reaction time. So you are in the advantage. The same thing works right here for B. When you are peeking these corners, don't forget to use your clone either like this, send them all the way, or from here. It really doesn't matter where you use it. And it's going to work fantastic if you do this. 
very simple to do and it can gain you info or at least get you some space. If you are defending right here on icebox, what I like to do, what I really like to do is just simply place your fake outs right here and you wanna be hiding in this corner. So that way when the enemies are coming, you just simply spawn these fake outs and the enemies will think that you are rotating, that you left the side, even though you are still camping in this corner and waiting for them. Very simple to do and this works fantastic. You can do your steps even here, but I recommend you doing it right here since it will be much easier for them to hear these steps and know that you are leaving, just like that. So yeah, you just activate it and you are camping in this corner waiting for enemies to come. Of course, you can do a very similar thing right here on A side, just by simply doing something like this. And you want to stand behind these boxes, just simply spawn your fake out when you think that the enemies are here and they might think that everyone rotated from side. Just you want to be the last one to rotate when you are defending since you have your TP and you can always send your TP to the other side and you have a quick rotate. So make sure you use this and it's going to be much easier for you to play with your rook. If we are talking flashes, there's plenty of ways that you can use your flash for example like this. Simple bounce off through the gap on the top or there's a lot of spaces through which you can bounce off for example like this. Or just very simply like these close corners or just simply like that there's so many ways how you can do it so definitely don't be shy of using these flashes since it's really helpful and you have to clear a lot of corners now if you're talking b-side it's pretty much the same thing every time you peek you want to use your flash either like this or just very simply all the way in the back don't forget to use your flashes for example like this, so if anyone is defusing they have to turn around or just simply to suppress it behind the corner and you can pick the other side, for example like this, and you can pick with it. Very simple, try to use it as a pop flash. And if you will start with this, the, probably the best one lineup, the best lineup when you are attacking with your teleport lineup right here on C side. It, this TP will go all the way back on spawn and you just need to do just yeah. simple aim on this corner where this curb at this cub is, the left side where it meets the wall. Just so simply aim there, send your TP, it's gonna go all the way to spawn, it's gonna make its way pretty fast and it will just simply yeah. slide to the left side of it so it'd be hard to spot for enemies. And when it gets here you can very simply TP here anytime. It is a really far spot, as you can see, and it would be hard for anyone to hear. So yeah, definitely try it out, and you can flank enemies very easily with this one. And definitely try to combine it with, with your other utility, so it is not that obvious that you are trying to TP there. Other lineup that can be useful is by simply standing next to these sandbags, and you want to aim right here, yeah. where, this, uh, where this support is and it's left to left to the slide belt right here just aim the bottom of it so there your tp and the tp will go all the way like this it will hug the corner of this box and end up in this corner so that's why you can always tp here this is a pretty deep corner it would be hard for enemies to spot once you can use it for other utility you can tp here or you can just simply fake it so that way the enemies have to check it and you can win some extra time for your team to get into sight. Otherwise, if you are just defending, the best TPs are probably this one. Just simply stand behind this box and just simply aim the left side of this door frame, just like that, and send your TP. You want to do this since it is pretty big map, so you want to make sure your rotates are much faster than they can be, and you will just simply win at least almost 10 seconds by simply dipping like this and then going all the way to C. and also you can do a very similar thing right here just simply aim in the you understand in the middle of this box and aim pretty much anywhere in the middle of this wall just like that once again the tp will go all the way to spawn as you can see it will go slower around this corner but it wouldn't get over it unfortunately but still it will grant you a little bit of time for the very tp and once again you are almost here immediately and you are ready to support your team 
not only with flashes but with your other utility as well so very simple try to use it and it will very a lot of time now let's move on to clones if you are attacking just very simply use your clones like these so they are the first ones to go and go with them if they get shot try to trade them if they don't still enemies will be looking at the clone and for a second they will be thinking as you and deciding if they want to shoot but you will have the advantage of the peeking after that of, of course you want to use your clone in every you can use them in every everywhere where you enter just like these pods or if you are going B works everywhere the same way just definitely try to use them it's better to use it than not to but what I like to do is to use my clones when I'm defending for example here on A side let's say that the enemies here. can be in sewers and in the in there so I would like to do I like to do my take out right here and when I think that the, for the enemies might be thinking that everyone rotated from the side that there's only one enemy that they might have seen like three of my teammates on C I will simply and I know that they are close I will simply spawn the fake out the fake out will go to spawn thinking the enemies will be thinking that I have rotated and the site is clear so they will try to push it or try to kill me in the back when I'm running away like this in the meantime I'm sitting in this corner and waiting for them to peek and then I can get a free kill since usual enemies would not really check me check this corner you can do this on the, in this yeah. corner as well uh, the very similar way as I did before and once again place your tp please place your fake out here spawn it i don't even think the enemies are coming you can just simply trade it very easy very similar thing works right here in short you can do your team your fake outs right here and there are two spots where you can be standing you can be standing in either in this close range you only spawn a fake out the enemies will try to go in there or you are standing right here and waiting for enemies to come you just simply spawn the fake out the enemies might be peeking and you can you are waiting for them very easily very simple to do and it works perfectly and lastly here on C once again you can be in these two corners and then you can just simply send to your fake out for example like this just be in this corner spawn your fake out the enemies might be thinking at you they might shoot it and you can very simple trade it or you are just waiting for them to come just definitely try it in your game and lastly let's do flashes for example you can do your flash yeah. bounce off of this just simply aim like this and it's gonna blow up right here and it can support your teammates it flashes everyone on site so definitely try it if you want to just support your teammates but you can just very simply do your flashes like this and peek with them very easy you can throw them behind the side yeah. and bounce them off like this very simple to do just definitely use them if you already taken one of the best flashes would be yeah. to bounce off of this wall just like that it's gonna explode right here and to blind anyone on the side so yeah and also you can use your flashes of course like this or if you are close you can just very simply try to aim high and then peek with the flash and it blows up all the way right here and you won't get flash if you are below it so I thought it's right as well right here in Gary just simply do your flashes to bounce off of this box or a bit higher or you can also do your flashes through this gap yeah. right here you just want yeah. to aim a little bit lower like this and it's gonna bounce yeah. off of this and blow up right here and of course lastly on C when you are entering you can try to yeah. use your flashes to yeah. bounce off of this yeah. wall or you can just simply bounce it off to the back side so it won't blind any of your teammates or just simply throw it to the right side and hug this side so that way it won't flush you if you bounce off of this for example like that it blows up right here and this is everything that it blinds so yeah hopefully this video was helpful for you guys don't forget to subscribe and leave a like and see you guys soon bye